On this episode of Camp Outside, we are giving away some super clean and we are fixing one of my major screw ups. We're going to be cleaning an old tackle box. Check it out. Hey guys, it's Kevin with Camp Outside, your inside source for all things outside. Well guys, I made a mistake and today I'm going to fix that mistake. It's been sitting for a while. I had a tackle box that I left in my rowboat and when I was coming home from Georgia, I left the tackle box in the rowboat. I drove through a rainstorm and I forgot and guys, my tackle box wasn't waterproof and a bunch of the stuff in the bottom of the tackle box rusted and made an absolute mess of my tackle box. To the point where I was like, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with this. So I just left it in my barn and I was like, you know, I don't really use this tackle box very much. And I was like, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. And then I got the idea the other day to actually try and clean this up. And so guys, we are gonna be putting super clean to the test. I've got both the aerosol and the spray bottle of super clean. I'm going to turn the camera around. I'm going to show you this messy tackle box and we're going to see if this stuff will remove the rust stains and the dirt and the grime and everything that's in this old tackle box because I would really like to put this tackle box back in service but I can't with it being as filthy as it is. So we're going to clean this tackle box and oh by the way guys super clean is an awesome supporter of Kemp Outside. I want to thank those guys so much. They are doing another giveaway where we're going to give away a super clean set of their cleaner and their aerosol. So stay tuned to the video so you can learn how to win. Let's get right into cleaning this tackle box. All right, guys, here it is. You can see what a mess it is, especially down in here, all of this rust and everything. I had some stringers, some old metal stringers in the bottom of it, and that's what rusted. And then, you know, just, you know, all this little dirt and dust and stuff all over this thing. So I'm going to pull out any of the little uh, dividers that I can pull out to make it easier to clean. I'm going to spray this thing down with super clean. I'm going to scrub it with a rag, with a brush, whatever I can scrub it with. Then I'm going to take it outside. I'm going to hose it down and we'll see what happens. Let's hit it. All right, guys, I got the dividers out. Shaking up the aerosol. I'm gonna start with the aerosol, give it a good spray, and then we'll see what we can do from there. So here we go. I'm gonna just coat that in there. All right, let's get scrubbing. I hadn't originally planned to take the tackle box apart, but it just became evident that it was going to be so much easier to clean this thing in sections. So I went ahead and popped out each of the side wings, and that made cleaning this box a whole lot easier. I wasn't done disassembling, though. Okay, that'll make that easier, guys. I decided to pop this uh, frame section out as well, 
just to make this easier. I eventually ended up taking the lid off as well because the uh, box was just so hard to clean <laughs> when it was all put together. So this did give me a little bit of a problem. I used my flathead screwdriver on my Swiss Army knife to pry and that worked really well. You gotta be careful though, this plastic is brittle and it will crack if you're not careful. So uh, especially the older the tackle box is, the higher the likelihood that you're gonna crack something or break it. I actually did discover that there was a crack in the bottom of this tackle box. So I think I eventually mentioned it in the video, but uh, this tackle box is probably not going to get a lot of hardcore use. I probably will just use it for extra tackle storage in the shop instead of field use because of the crack. Alright guys, I'm going to take that outside and rinse it off and see where we're at. All right guys, so here we are so far. So just that first little spray and just some scrubbing with a rag. I mean, this is basically like an old washcloth or dish, dish towel. Got the majority of it. I'm gonna see if I can get the rest of that with a brush. One thing that's a bummer though, and I didn't even realize this until I started, is that this tackle box has a crack in it. So I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. It's a pretty big crack, which means it's not waterproof from the bottom. I'll still be able to use this tackle box, but uh, I'm bummed that it was broken. That's okay. I'm gonna keep cleaning and see what we get to. Bet you guys didn't know I could scrub this fast. Through the miracle of video editing, I feel like the flash. Truthfully, I figured you guys didn't want to actually watch me scrub this tackle box at normal speed. Alright guys, I think that that is good enough for me on this old tackle box. Now to start working on the trays. Okay guys, so we put the first tray back in. And I'm just working my way around with a toothbrush. It's always good to save old toothbrushes for projects like this. Once they kind of outlive their usefulness with brushing teeth, it's always good to save them for these kind of projects. And if you don't have an old toothbrush lying around, use your wife's toothbrush. She won't mind. I'm just kidding. That's a great way to end up concussed. And I know this isn't gonna be perfect because it's just hard to get in all the nooks and crannies, but I'm gonna do my best. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's a tackle box after all. It's gonna be out in the woods and on the lake and on the river and everywhere else. Time to rinse. All right, guys, that turned out really good. I went ahead and took the lids off because it was just easier. I'm gonna keep on with the trays. So slide this out of the way. And then we'll go ahead and open that up as best we can. I'm gonna go ahead and spray that and hit it with a toothbrush.
that spot right there it's got a lot of crud in it i'm gonna try and get that I mean, I could pop all these drawers to be separate. I'm gonna see if I don't have to. All right, let's rinse. All right, guys, that came out pretty good. Maybe just a few little stains here and there, but I think this is ready to go back in. Side's done. Let's do the other side. Since this is already so messy, I'm going to start with a rinse and then work my way through it. All right, guys, this is going to take a lot of elbow grease, I think. Here we go. The one tray at a time. back with a rag. Some of these middle ones aren't so bad.
All right, let's rinse and see where we're at. Okay guys, so as you can see, there's a little more stain in here. I'm gonna hit that with a rag one more time and see if I can't get any of that out. But overall, this is so much better than it was. Yeah, some of this is actually just loose and it's just coming up with my thumb. But uh, so much better than it was. And I think I can put this back in service at least as tackle storage in the barn. It may not be a frontline box for me anymore in terms of being on the boat or whatever with that crack in the bottom. But in general, I think I'll be able to use it as extra lure storage and things in the barn. And maybe an occasional outing here and there if I need to. But I'm pretty pleased this was, you know, hook rust and metal rust that had been in here for well over a year. I've been sitting around trying to figure out what to do with this tackle box. And then it just came to me one day that I had to blast it with super clean and see what happens. And truthfully, I think it would get it all if I could really get a good scraper in some of these little dividers but you know i don't know it's pretty good i'm gonna go ahead and rinse that one more time and we'll take a look all right guys here we are as you can see just a few little stains here and there but man it doesn't get much better than that time to put it back together I just noticed I'm missing this one piece. So that's interesting. It still works okay, but as you can see, if I can find that piece, it'd be good to have it back. I wonder where it went. Time to put the lids on. Well, there you have it, guys. Looks like this tackle box is back, ready to be in service. I'm gonna go ahead and put my dividers back in here. All right, time to let it dry and time to tell you how to win super clean. So if you have an old tackle box or something laying around that needs to be cleaned and you're sitting there going, I don't know if that's gonna come out, why not give super clean a try? Guys, I love super clean. I use it on everything. I use it on my camp stoves. I use it on my camper. I use it on my boat. I use it on everything. I've got a lot of uses for super clean guys and I know that you probably do too if you're an outdoorsman at all and you've got to maintain gear and keep it clean you guys need super clean so here's how to get it. Guys I'm giving away a bottle of their super clean cleaner and a bottle of the aerosol. Now here are the rules. Number one you have to live in the lower 48 states. That is just a rule for shipping, guys. So I'm definitely sorry for anybody who doesn't live in the lower 48 states. I am gonna do a giveaway here uh, relatively soon that I'm gonna open up to, to, uh, to Canada, to my, to my Canada viewers, uh, but not for the super clean giveaway. So just keep that in mind. Number two, I'm really, really, really trying to grow my Instagram and my Facebook followers. So here's how this goes. I'm gonna put this video out and I'm gonna create a post about on this video for Facebook and I'm gonna create a post on this video for Instagram. And so what I want you to do is I want you to be a subscriber of Kemp Outside and on this YouTube channel down below, I want you to write, I want to win super clean, okay? That gives you one entry. 
I want you to go to Facebook and go to the Facebook post on this video. And I want you to write in the comments, I want super clean and follow me on Facebook. That's a second entry. Then I want you to go to Instagram and I want you to find the post for this video on Instagram. And I want you to write in the comments, I want super clean and I want you to follow me on Instagram. That is entry number three. I might even throw in a little something something guys. I might even decide to throw some Kemp Outside stickers and maybe a Kemp Outside shirt or something like that into this giveaway. So uh, if you're following me on Facebook or, or Instagram, I definitely appreciate it. Help me grow there. Guys, if you wanna share on Facebook and Instagram, that would be huge too. You know, tag your friends, right? Tag your friends. I'll tell you what, on Instagram, if you tag two people on Instagram, in the comments about the super clean giveaway, I'll give you a fourth entry, okay? So here it is again, you have to live in the lower 48 states. You have to be a subscriber of Kemp Outside on YouTube and write on the YouTube video in the comments down below, I want super clean, entry number one. Entry number two is if you follow me on Facebook and you write in the comments on the Facebook post, I want super clean, that's entry number two. Entry number three is if you follow me on Instagram and write in the comments of the Instagram post, I want super clean. That's entry number three. And if you tag two people on Instagram in the comments, that's entry number four. Okay, so you know how to win. I'm going to write this all down in the description of this video. I'm going to run this contest for two weeks. So two weeks from the date of this post, is when I'm gonna do the drawing, okay? And I'm gonna put the date down in the comments below when I'm gonna do the drawing, okay? So that's how you win Super Clean. Guys, I wanna thank Super Clean for always being such a huge supporter of Kemp Outside. Those guys are awesome. Love the fact that they wanna do uh, gear giveaways and they wanna give away their products to my viewers so that you guys can become Super Clean fans like I am. And I also think, guys, I think in the email, come to think of it, I think Super Clean's throwing a hat in on this gear giveaway too, so pretty cool. So you're gonna get a bottle of Super Clean, an aerosol can of Super Clean, a hat from Super Clean, and if you're following me on Facebook or Instagram, I'm gonna throw in a Kemp Outside shirt. So pretty cool giveaway. All right guys, I'm Kevin with Kemp Outside, your inside source for all things outside. We exist to help moms and dads take your kids camping, hiking, fishing, learn about nature, and develop a conservation ethic. We want to help you get you and your kids outside. One of the things that is just true about being an outdoorsman or outdoors woman is that you got to maintain your gear. You got to keep it clean. You got to keep it ready to go. Guys, super clean helps me keep my gear clean and ready to go. And in this case, resource some stuff that I neglected. So get yourself some super clean. I hope you win it. If not, I'm going to put a link down in the description below to the super clean website where you can order all their products. Guys, they've got some awesome products. They've got uh, uh, an oil absorbent. They've got a foaming uh, bottle, which I love. Uh, I think they've got a wheel cleaner. They've got all kinds of cool stuff. So I'm going to put a link to super clean down below. And guys, you can also check on our website. There is a store locator. So if you want to go uh, I think they're in a lot of auto zones, I think it is, uh, and O'Reilly's and some other some other auto auto parts stores and, and other places. So you can do a store locator or you can do as I do when I'm running low, I just order it online. So that's how you get yourself some super clean. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up on this video. Also hit that little bell icon that notifies you when we release new videos so you don't miss any of our other giveaways or other videos and outdoor content. Guys, I'm Kevin with Kemp Outside. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.